Good morning once again to Mountaintop Ministries and our morning devotions. Here is Pastor Ken Reed. Good morning. How are we doing today? Monday morning, sun's coming up. I'm glad to be alive. It's exciting. How's Ed and Heather doing over there? Ed texted me the other day and said, we'll watch every day. It's good. I hope you had a great weekend. You're back in your church, I believe. And uh, I'd like to know a little more about that. That'd be great. But hey, I want to do something different today. Would you like to go on a rabbit chase with me? Okay. Now, uh, this isn't going to be a rabbit killing. That's not what it's going to be. Uh, uh, I participated in, in rabbit competition uh, with beagle dogs, hunting rabbits for years, and did quite well with it. Uh, had lots of trophies from it. And, uh, but my, the goal is not to kill the rabbit. You, you don't want to do that. You want to keep the rabbit alive. And the rabbit has a great advantage because the rabbit is using his eyes, he's using his ears, and uh, he's using his natural senses, where a dog is only able to use one thing, his nose, a scent. And, uh, you know, if they start to use other things, the dogs get all confused. They've got to learn because a, a, a rabbit will leave a scent, and the scent may be this wide. When It's an amazing thing. I don't know what the scent smells like. I never smelled it. But uh, when a rabbit goes down through, uh, it'll leave a smell behind it. And the dogs can follow that. It's an amazing thing. And, uh, you know, uh, so, so I'm going to show you a couple videos here this morning, okay? Here, here's one. I just seen the rabbit come across here, right here. So, uh... The rabbit just came through here. I just seen it. And, uh, hey, we got some good dog, hound dogging going on here. Came right across on it. Should be turning in there right now. Yes, there they go. Now, um... Uh, you know, that's called the line right there where the rabbit came across is called the line. And uh, the Bible calls that a straight and narrow way. Uh, you know, straight and narrow way. Um, a, a metaphor. Have you ever heard anybody say, since I got out of jail, uh, I'm going the straight and narrow way. It means a reform. It means they've, they've changed. They're, they're doing better. I know lots of people like that. I, I'm one of them. Uh you know, since Jesus came into my heart, we're going to straight and narrow way. Uh, not just wandering around doing any old thing, uh, trying to be a Christian one day and a heathen the next day and a sinner the next day, but to go in the straight and narrow way, keeping our mind on the, on, the, on the smell of the Word of God and the scent of the Word of God and going the straight and narrow way. In fact, the Bible says in Matthew, uh, in Matthew 7 and 14, straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth uh, to life and to the house of God. And uh, that's what I want to talk to you about. Uh, you, these dogs have an amazing ability to sniff this and, uh, you know, and, and to go the straight and narrow way in pursuit of that rabbit. Let me show it to you again. I just love this. This is the line. Came through here. I just seen it. And, uh, hey, we got some good dog, hound dogging going on here. Came right across on it. Turning in there, right? Yes, there they go. <laughs> I love that. Uh, this is a beautiful picture here of uh, that day. I had uh, twelve different hounds, I think it was, that were loose, and uh, they're just uh, searching around at that point right there. Uh, they're not really chasing a rabbit there. They're just having a good, good good time, just having a good time. But there's another thing I want to talk to you about. There's power in the pack. I had 12 dogs down that day. And uh, and and there's power when we, as Christians, stick together because the Bible says, if any two shall agree as touching anything in my name, praying for it, it shall be done. Uh, there, there's strength in being together. That's why the Lord chose 12 disciples instead of two. Uh, there's, there's strength in being together. And I uh, thank God for my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Uh, I, I really do. Um, now, let, let me show you what I think is one of the best videos that I have. 
You see this valley right through here, this little crevice, this ditch right through here? I seen the rabbit come right through here with my own eyes. Now, this was a few years ago. I don't have the beagle dogs any longer. They've gotten old and passed away, and, and I don't have them any longer. But the rabbit came right up through here. Now, it's their job to find the straight and narrow way and pursue it. Okay, let's go. Hey, I give a shout out to Seth and uh, and to Fred. You guys know who I'm talking about. I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, you you really will. That doesn't happen overnight. A dog has a natural. Not all dogs. Beagles and hounds have a natural instinct to smell certain smells and to pursue them and follow them. Uh, it's an instinct. And, and, you know, I really believe that God has put an instinct into humanity to want to do right and to want to pursue their creator or their higher power. I really believe that with all my heart. Because the Bible says even nature itself draws a man to God. It, it's a built-in desire. It's like a homing pigeon uh, that has a desire to fly back home. And inside of me and inside of you, there's a desire to get closer to God, follow God, pursue God to get home. It's really sad that the enemy, the devil, has, has destroyed that desire in many people's hearts. And they've traded that for the allurement and the pleasures of sin, which are very seasonal. But when you were born, there was something placed inside of you that wanted you. For even those that have not heard the gospel preached are drawn by the elements of nature and come to the realization only a God in heaven could create this. And they're drawn by that, you know. Um, anyway, let's look at this one more time, huh? This one one more time. Um, this is the line. Oh, okay. Straight and narrow down way down right here. here. The rabbit just came out of the brush. I wasn't quick enough to get in. But it came right up here, uh, uh, right where the dogs are. And, uh, wow, that ever pretty, That's what they call packing up. Packing up. When all 12 of them are right on the line and they're working as a pack, and you could almost throw a blanket over all of them at one time. They're packing up. And uh, the Bible says if a house divided against itself will fall. If it's going all different directions, it, it won't work. That's, the way many, that's why many, many, many churches don't work. Is because uh, you got all these fragments pulling different directions. Uh, you know, competition between each other and you know, eagles and all kind of stuff. Uh, if a church really is going to work, it's it's got to be pulling. The Bible calls it one accord. The Bible calls it unity. The Bible calls it love. It's got to be going. It's got to be packing up and going the, the same way. That, how important that really is. What else did I have here? I thought I had another one here, but I guess uh, I guess I don't. So uh, uh, there, there's one thing I want to talk to you about here when you're hunting with rabbits and, and beagles. Because the hounds are using their nose on scent, often they'll come upon a stronger scent than the rabbit. For instance, a fox has a very strong scent, and a deer has a very strong scent. And many, many times a hound will come along, and all at once there's a, a fox has gone across there, and they take that and they take that scent of the fox because it's stronger than the rat. And they turn and they start to chase that fox scent. And that's called trash. Not, not, not that the deer or the fox would be trashy, but it's just not what you want them to chase. Or if a deer comes across, a lot of hounds will turn and start chasing the deer. And that's called being trashy. And is there a chance that Christians could ever be trashy? Yes. You know, we are, we are told in the word to pursue those things that are holy and godly and righteous and pure. Think on those things and pursue those things uh, that are pure and holy and godly and righteous and of good report. 
Uh, but how easy it is when something comes across our pathway that is, that is negative or has a strong allurement, uh, how easy it is to become trashy. And, and, you know, are you trashy? You know, we all know what that's about. We've all been trashy sometime in our life. And, uh, but the Lord wants us to stay on the straight and narrow way and not be trashy. Okay, do you understand that? that that's really cool if you're getting this. It really is. And it'll make your Christian walk so much better. It really is. It will. And I, I miss those days. I, I used to have a lot of fun doing that. But I'm in another season of my life. But it took a lot of seasons for those dogs to get to the place where they worked that close. Uh, it, it's what we call practice and training. Although they were giving the natural instinct to smell with their nose and to pick that scent up, you had to take them to the field and practice every day. I used to take them to the field for an hour every day. If you could run them on a rabbit every day, uh, boy, they develop that and they get good at that. And you could tell if you if you didn't keep them practicing, they'd get stale and they'd get sloppy. Uh, you know, they really would. And uh, but if they're doing it every day, they keep sharp as a tack. And you could take them to a competition and do really well. Had a lot of fun doing that. Met a lot of nice people. Uh, Steve Shipman and Seth Seth's son and and Fred Hawkins and and we had a lot of good times together. We really did. And uh, so uh, that's the devotion for this morning. Remember this uh, the scent line, which is a straight and narrow way. Remember there's power in the pack working together. Remember that once you start following the Lord, you got to practice it every day. You got to practice doing it every day. Remember not to become trashy. Don't become trashy. And remember that your verse for today is Matthew 7 and 14. The straight and narrow way. Okay? God bless you. And uh, it's nice having you on deck this morning. And I'll catch you tomorrow morning. Sing you a little song. I love you. Have a great one. Back to Charlotte at this time. Thank you for joining us again this morning. Please feel free to share uh, the devotion with your friends and call us if we can be of any help to you. God bless you.